What's up everybody, Torx here, and today I'm going to rank your weapon ideas. That's right, some of you guys on my Discord server sent me some pretty epic ideas, and that's how it's going to work. I would just simply follow these steps. Do I save the gun in game? Would I personally use it? Would I main it? And after all that, I'm going to say a little things about the weapon. And finally, the ranking. Alright, let's begin, shall we? The Parasite. So first of all, I appreciate that you made this really cool drawing, thanks for that. Alright, this is a melee weapon for the scout. That's nice, and I think that's a reference to Bioshock, which also is very nice. Anyways, let's look at the up and down sides. The up sounds are that you deal 15% more damage, and you get a 10% speed boost in water. But just like every other weapon, this thing also got his downsides, just like minus 30% deployment speed. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm assuming he meant it's just slower when you pull it out. But I gotta say, I like this weapon. I don't think we need to fix here much. Maybe the downgrades to make it to 40% instead of 30%, but that's okay. And that's really it. So would I use it? Now I don't think so, because I'm currently using this, and I like it. So this is also the answer to the next step, automatically. So would I main it? No. All in all, I'm gonna say this weapon is a solid 8 out of 10. If this weapon would made it into the game, we may have some copyright issues, but that's really it. I like it. Next up, we get a Pyromaniac. So. It deals 20% more afterburn damage and it also makes 30% more damage. But no random crits. Just like minus 70% less uber from medics and 40% less ammo. In my opinion, this is just absolutely broken. This definitely needs a fix. How about only 5% more afterburn damage and minus 50% ammo? Maybe this would be okay. To be honest, I'm not an expert in shit like this. So what I'm saying just right now is just straight up bullshit. This is just my honest opinion. So I don't know nothing about this. Don't take any of this shit seriously, alright? But with my idea and your weapon combined, I think we get as a result a pretty good weapon, right? Do I see the weapon in game? Absolutely. Why not? I think it's fair. Would I use it personally? Yes, and I think I would also main it, because it just sounds really good. There's nothing other to say except it's a 9 out of 10. I like it. No, I don't like it. I love it. Next we got the Controllers Inji's Wrangler. The engineer builds a mini sentry that can be managed by himself. The mini sentry receives a shield that minimizes 50% damage and 25 mini sentries life. I really think that's just another weapon that just doesn't belong in Team Fortress 2. We already have a Wrangler and a Mini Sentry. I don't think we need to combine that. It would be cool if the engineer could have some other sentries. Something like it can only shoot rockets but it's slower. Or the opposite of that, no rockets but it's faster. Something like that. This would be interesting. But something we already have in game that is just combined would just not be the case where I would say, yes, this is cool, I would see that in a game. I don't see that in a game, not at all, so I don't think this belongs into the game. Alright, next up we have the single surprise. This weapon comes with 60% more damage, 40% more bullets, and it builds up a charge while running. That will give the player a random buff, like more speed, more life generation, or even mini crits. Let's look at the downgrades. 25% lower movement speed when equipped, 30% more spread gets mini critted from fire, just like 75 lower reloading speed. Again, thanks for the art, I appreciate that. I gotta say, I love the idea that you just get a random buff over time, but there's a but. This seems again way too broken. How about we remove the 60% more damage, but also remove the 75% lower reloading speed. 
or let's say we just gonna make it to 30% out of it, alright? With that being said, would I personally use this weapon all the time? Heck, I would even main it. Because I just love the idea of that random buff. It's really creative. This kind of reminds me of that roll the dice thing you can do in the trade server. Do I see this weapon in game? Yes, absolutely. I would love to see this weapon in game. This weapon is easily a 10 out of 10. Best one so far. Next, we have the rocket thrower. Okay, let me just read this text for you, okay? Who said pyro isn't good in long range? Fools! This brand new flamethrower makes pyro an absolute killing machine in long range. But beware, close range is your weakness now. Launch a rocket from far away and destroy all the enemies. Burn everyone down long range. The explosion gives you 50 to 70 damage and burns everyone that got hit for 10 seconds. Executing a teammate restores 20 health. This one is really creative, I like it. But this is just a rocket launcher, I guess. This could be a soldier weapon, so I cannot see this weapon actually in game. But maybe for some events like New Year's Eve, this would be a cool exclusive weapon for this only day. A weapon for one day would be pretty interesting. If this would be the case, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Russian Roulette. Now we finally have a heavy gun. So after killing an enemy with primary, you get plus 15% damage, deal for 5 seconds, plus 10% any damage permanently for 5 seconds, minus 33% deal from medics and dispensers for 5 seconds. Passive effect. This weapon deploys 25% slower. Okay, another creative one. But I think there still needs some fix before I can actually come into the game. How about on kill you have a 50% chance to get 10% firing speed, 20% faster movement speed or 30% more health from health packs just like dispensers and medics. And the other 50% are the downgrades. Something like you bleed for a few seconds, you lose ammo for 10 seconds or even slower movement speed. How about this? I would love to see a weapon like this in Team Fortress 2. Would I use it? Yes. Would I main it? No. This is a weapon you would play only for a few seconds and then switch because you would just be too upset about the downgrades. And with that being said, again, I would give this weapon a 10 out of 10, just because I really love the idea. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you have an epic idea for the weapon, just comment down below, or join my Discord server if you want to. Well, see you all next time, later. Woo!